Okay, so we are back with Lisa Waters Lane in the studio. She comes each week with your garden questions. Just what are your neighbors talking about? And sometimes you can pick up and learn things like that. So welcome to the studio, Lisa. Thank you. So you've been staying warm? Yeah. <laughs> it's got cold today. It's the I'm mornings are cold. cold. Yeah. The afternoons are, are beautiful. And then it gets cold again. <laughs> you've been out. You are a pea vine walker. You're constellation out there. Or trail. constellation. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. Constellation. The, mm -hmm. the, the dells, basically. Right. And so you're out there. What's that like? Is it wet, cold, snowy, dogs it's everywhere, cold. coyotes, bears, <laughs> mountains? Lime. It's definitely cold. I'm amazed how much water is still in the little creeks and little pockets around there, frozen, of course. Yeah. Uh, but still a lot of water floating around out there, which is good. It's a good thing. You want that. This is a walker's paradise. Mm -hmm. Hiker, mountain biker, outdoors, Outdoor forest, paradise. Mm -hmm. It truly is. It's good. And you take advantage of it. You get friends you kind of oh, meet yeah. out there. So if you see a little, little schnauzer out there walking in a, in a big black uh, Labrador retriever, that's Lisa. Just say, hi, Lisa. I have to say, we're usually the first and only people on the trail really? early in the morning. It'll warm up. It'll get better. Oh, yeah. It will. So what are some garden questions that people are talking about that maybe can accentuate their hiking experience here on the show? <laughs> so we or do not. have questions, but I also want to just uh, put in a little plug. I was just talking to some uh, guests out in the nursery yard. And they were saying they're kind of fairly new to the area. I think they've been here two to three years. They have a big piece of property that they're putting stuff on and, and loving it. Yeah. Uh, but she just said to me, and I thought this is really cool. She goes, I am so thankful for you guys and your website and oh. the informational, the YouTubes, the Facebook. She goes, I have learned so Oh, that's much. encouraging. Yeah, we and, put a lot um, of energy yeah. into it. That's I know. Don't it was get really many nice. accolades. That's, that's it was good. very nice to hear. But it also, if you're new to the area, watersgardencenter.com, it is a huge resource for you. You should take advantage of it because there is so much on there that's just free informational material. Yeah, we should charge for that. Now that you, that you <laughs> talk about it. it is an encyclopedia because there's yeah. no real garden content f for this area. There's lots of Phoenix Desert stuff. Right. Right. There's lots of East Coast Chicago, you know, D.C., Boston, New York, over to uh, Chicago. Mm -hmm. Lots of info there. There's nothing for this high altitude. I mean, Denver a little bit, right. but we've got much alkaline, more alkaline soil. We've got more wind, quite honestly, especially on the ridge lines. It's a different climate. So we're going, what can we do? Right. Sunset Garden Book used to be the go-to, but it really didn't do us justice. It was more mm -hmm. California-based. Mm -hmm. So we just started doing these podcasts and radio shows and garden columns. I just checked on our uh, our website. We have over thirty thousand backlinks embedded in the in the garden columns. That mm -hmm. is, if you're mentioning a a plant and it tickles your fancy, we put a link in there on how to go find it, how to buy it, where to buy it from. Uh, we we jump out to other growers. Mm -hmm. you know, if we did a video at it where we're touring to growers, we'll put that YouTube in there. We embed it. So we found some funky, weird aphids are taking over. We'll take a picture <laughs> and embed that. And so we're trying to make it interactive, mm -hmm. digital. It's not just a still website that you expect oh, from, no. from most mom and pop yeah. organizations. It's it's actually yeah. real. Mm -hmm. And it's not just copied Google stuff that confuses the living daylights <laughs> out of you. I was helping a client uh, uh, in the houseplants. Mm -hmm. She was doing some houseplant stuff and she's got an apartment, forget where. She was, I was trying to do some research and I was dumbfounded. I didn't even know. There were so many recommendations. I didn't know where to go. Yeah. Then I saw your website. Mm -hmm. And so they, she came in for that. So it's mm -hmm. kind of a, yeah, it's a marketing tool, but really oh. we just want you to be successful. Yeah. That's our, that's yeah. our marketing tool is mm -hmm. your success. If you're successful and you, we helped you, you'll, that's word of mouth in a small town. You'll, mm -hmm. you'll let your neighbors know. And that's right. worked for us for 60 years, mm -hmm. 59 years. Mm. And 10 months because it, it March 11th, we turn, we have our 60th spring open house. Very excited cool. about that. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. So, but anyways, just want to put that little plug out there for, for the newer people. But Tom and Chino would like to know is now the time to be putting out his pre-emergent. Oh yeah. That wind out there, the tumbleweeds get so <laughs> big. They, and they roll over the fences, Paulden and just that windows, windy yeah. valleys. 
Uh, absolutely. In fact, January is your month. You're already seeing dandelions and the first of the, uh, I've, I've seen uh, feather, feather grass. Foxtails. Uh, foxtails are already starting. Right. So really you want to get it down. ASAP. Like, yeah, like three weeks ago before this last storm, but mm -hmm. now go, go for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it's better. And so, and then keep up with the weeds. So you put, you pre, pre emergent down, you spread it in your yard. For you folks that don't know, or you're from the Midwest, you're just not used to mm -hmm. pre emergence. We don't have lawn mowers here. We have <laughs> pre emergent. So we've got rock lawns. And so we don't really have a lot of grass. And so we're putting this fertilizer type uh, material, a, a granular material, you spread it around in your hand spreader and you put it over the rock, down the driveways, down the fence lines. And as the rain and snow hit this fertilizer, it goes into the soil, it keeps the seed from germinating. So there's, there's, forget how many seed, there's hundreds yeah. per square inch yeah, of seed in your yard. It's a, there's got science on this and it's waiting for the perfect environment to come up. And so this keep puts a band or a barrier down there that doesn't allow the weeds. You put it down now, January. I recommend truly uh, out there, especially in Chino, put it down again the end of June, first part of July, mm -hmm. right before the rainy season comes. We've got this monsoon pattern that happens in the middle of the summer. Right. I put it down right before that, and that'll keep your whorehound, the goat head, and the tumbleweeds from coming up. So we've got two different kinds of crops. Mm -hmm. Winter weeds which are now and then we've got our, our summer weeds <laughs> you put it down twice you're not going to be weeding and, right. and the, you don't need to put that cancerous roundup out there you could just you just won't have weeds or it's so reduced that yeah. it saves you, my hands. you a lot of oh, labor yeah. and a lot of time oh, oh to gosh. do that word of caution if you're putting out uh wildflower seed or you're thinking of grass seed in an area, do not use pre-emergent yeah. <laughs> in those areas because it doesn't know the difference between a weed and a flower. Yeah. So just keep, just be aware of, yeah. of that. Don't put it down over your lawn, lawn seed. You can put it down on a lawn yeah. that's already coming up. It'll keep the daily right. from coming up, but don't put it down on a new, of course, it's too early for lawns. Although it's not too early for wild grasses. Right. Put that down now. Wild mm -hmm. seed, yeah. wild grass and wildflower seeds you put down now. Mm -hmm. So that's good advice. Yeah. yeah. Glad you mentioned that. <laughs> Just a word of warning. Yeah. All right. Next question is from Lori. It's her first spring here in the Prescott Valley area. Welcome, Lori. And she would like to know, are there any veggies that she can put in this time of year? Oh, there are. It's limited. There's a few. We've got a few out there. A few herbs you can put out mm -hmm. now. So they're, they're winter types of plants. And so kale, uh, you've been harvesting that all winter mm -hmm. long. Those of you that have those leafy types of, of material. So lettuce, uh, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, all these things can go in. As soon as the ground, as soon as there's not ice in the ground, mm -hmm. you can start planting those. So Pretty right soon, now yeah. we're encouraging them to prepare your soils because mm -hmm. by March 1, you are full on planting your garlics and onions, we full on all that winter blooming stuff, not yeah. tomatoes, not, not, yet. not cucumbers, not, not the things you're harvesting the fruit, but you're definitely putting in all your other leafy things. So mm -hmm. yeah, there's a few things in the containers. Our yeah. kale looks gorgeous, oh, yeah. looks full bloom, just beautiful. I think on the website, we have a vegetable calendar, don't we? We do. There? Yeah. So that would be really good information for people new in the area as far as what you can plant when. There's a, a, anytime we host a garden class, so every Saturday we have a garden class. And then when we have a handout that we've created for that class, whether it's irrigation or, or wildflowers or vegetables, we create a handout and we put it on the website. And if you go to watersgardencenter.com and the upper, up in the very band of the very top, you'll see learn, L-E-A-R-N, learn button. Learn. All the handouts, <laughs> we have, I gotta come up with something out of you. <laughs> <laughs> put these websites together. You're going, I don't know how it would make sense. Yeah. Uh, learn. And it's all the handouts are all PDFs. Mm -hmm. So you can open them up on any kind of device, your, mm -hmm. your, your phone, your tablets, your, your, any kind of your desktop laptop. It's there. So anyone can open it and just look for, well, any of those things. Yeah. There's a ton. How many are on there? Like 30 Three dozen. I don't know. There's so, a lot. Yeah. Anything so. you want to know. Not but anything, yeah. but a lot of the <laughs> most important things, at least taught in a, in a yeah. garden class. Okay, Ken and Lisa Lane, we are out of time. Ten minutes, just like that. We'll be right back after these important messages.